Hello, and what's your name? Aaliyah. And how old are you? Seventeen. And how do you know me? I'm your sister. I'm your little sister. Okay, and Aaliyah, what do you think about my lifestyle? Uh, I think it's cool. Definitely out of the norm. And I like telling other people about it. And what do other people normally say? Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> okay. And, um... So how did you feel when I was living in Arizona and I called the family and I said that I'm going to give away all my possessions to be a wandering nomad? Um, I was a little sad at first because you wouldn't be here for my high school years and it would have been like good to have like an older figure who had already been through that here. But at the same time, I was happy that you were doing it because it's what you wanted and it was going to make you happy and that's all that really matters. Okay. And do you ever worry about me? Um, not usually. Sometimes, depending, you know, when you tell me things about landmines and people stepping off course and they can blow up, that makes me a little nervous. But <laughs> other than that, not really. Okay. And so what do you think is the coolest thing that I've done? Uh, all of it. Playing with tigers, that's pretty cool. And, um, I don't know, all of it's really cool. I would definitely like to go to the places you've been. Mm -hmm. Okay. And do you ever feel pressure to be the normal child of us two? I do not ever feel pressure. You don't ever feel like you need to be the stable one that gets married and has the kids in the house? No, and I don't. I think that my personality alone just kind of sets that up. I like to, you know be in the routine kind of role. Mm -hmm. You do not. <laughs> okay. And so what are your plans for the future? I want to get my master's in psychology with a minor in social work and become a social worker and create a charity to help foster kids in orphanages and fix the social service systems in America. Great. And if you had to guess where, if you had to guess, where do you think that I would be in five years? I would guess Africa, because if you're doing South America next, that seems like the logical next biggest continent that you would hit, and I know that you want to go there, so that's where I would guess. Mm -hmm. And what do you think that I'll be doing in Africa? Um... Um, looking at other, how other people live, like looking at the different cultures, and trying to learn the over 200 languages each continent and um, each country there speaks, mm -hmm. probably. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and if you had, if you have, um, sorry, what advice can you give to sisters or family members of other long-term travelers? Download Skype. <laughs> and. Make sure you check your email a lot, like if there's like a Facebook or on MySpace in your email, uh, write on it every time you want to, anytime you want to talk to that person, and be patient for a response, realizing that not she won't be able to, you know, get internet everywhere, or she may have to find a wireless cafe or something, but that is my... That is my thing. Set up times, like one, every once in a while where you can talk to that person on the phone. And that's it. That's Great. my advice. Thank you so much. Cool.